Next level taken here, talking about who really killed Jason Voorhees. The end of Friday the 13th, the game, no new DLC, no more maps, no more emotes, no more dancing, no more nothing. No more single player challenges, no Uber Jason, he's in the file. Anyway, here's the reason why, here's the, here's the reason, here are the suspects, here's the explanation. Here's the lawyer talk. Alright, it's complicated. I'm gonna have links below and, and from Steam Community, from bloody-disgusting.com, from Larry Zerner's Twitter. I think it's really interesting. Larry Zerner, for those that don't know, is Shelly. He played he's the actor that played Shelly in the third film. Jason Voorhees actually got his mask from Shelly. Uh, which, you know, is <laughs> It's funny, but it's, it's also interesting because now he's a lawyer and he's actually a copyright trademark lawyer. So who better to answer our questions about this than him? bloody disgustingcom actually had a feature about this with him. He has on his Twitter feed. You can check it out. I'll have all the links below. Uh, he's talking about the copyright termination and what's going on with Friday the 13th. In copyright termination, these are his words. You can wait up to 38 years to give a two-year notice. The termination must occur prior to the 40-year anniversary. Now, there's threads and things with information, but uh, I'll try to shorten and condense it. With the announcement, the Friday the 13th, the game, that won't be adding new content because of the ongoing lawsuit between Sean Cunningham and Victor Miller. I've seen a lot of people dragging Victor online as this is his fault. It's not. and I'll, it, it, Well, it is. But it's not. It's complicated. You should be sending them death threats anyway. That's kind of embarrassing. Video game community definitely should be embarrassed by that kind of thing. That's just ridiculous. Either way, I don't care what he did. That's just nuts. The Copyright Act includes a provision that states that an author can terminate any transfer he or she's made after 35 years. Congress added that provision to allow creators, that's writers, songwriters, etc., who sold their rights for cheap to have a second chance. In the case of Victor Miller, he was originally paid about $9,500 for the original Friday the 13th script, which turned into 12 movies, a very successful video game, and lots of Jason Voorhees merchandise. The franchise Victor helped create made hundreds of millions of dollars. Victor wasn't entitled to any of that money. Now, what Victor did was what the Copyright Act allows him to do. He sent a notice of termination to Sean, giving Sean two years notice of the termination, which would occur in June of 2018, this year. The way it usually works in these cases is that the producer and the terminating writer will then have the two-year period to work out a deal on how the money will be split on future projects. The termination does not affect movies already completed. But Sean and Victor would need to make a deal because the termination only affects the Friday the 13th U.S. rights. Somehow, because of the quirks of copyright law, even after termination, Sean would still own the rights outside of the United States. But instead of making a deal, Sean sued Victor, claiming the agreement that Victor signed in 79 is not terminable, and the fact is that this is a very new area of law, so there's not a lot of guidance for judges on who is right. Both sides have very capable lawyers who are arguing the case. One of the problems is, although both sides argued motions for summary judgment last October, the judge in the case still hasn't ruled. This has really slowed things down. Now, I'm sure everyone involved believed that there would be a trial long before the termination occurred. I know it's frustrating for fans who want new movies and more content, but to blame it all on Victor is unfair. And Larry Turner goes on to say that he really hopes the two can work it out and there can be more Friday the 13th content as soon as possible. With that said, this also affects Friday the 13th killer puzzle. This is not just on Gun Media No Phonic. This is on a Blue Wizard, Steam Community. Blue Wizard responded to a user on there. The user asked, Hey Blue Wizard, are you also being affected by the lawsuit from Victor Miller? He actually wrote infected, but we get the point he was trying to make. All right. They answered twice because apparently people didn't get the, the message the first time around because it was, I guess, not completely transparent and clear. They said, Sorry if we weren't clear the first time around. Yes, it affects our ability to release new content in the same way it affects gun. So. Don't look for any new DLC anytime soon. Now, with that said, I apologize, Gun Media, Nophonic, 
and a lot of people should, you know, we're getting the, grabbing the pitchforks ready, this, that, and the other. I don't apologize for all the bugs and issues, and I'm pretty sure they did rush this patch out now to make the June deadline. With that said, I wish they would have been more transparent with us uh, and told us what was really going on. Um, I guess they could have been shystier and, you know, released a bunch of emotes and a new clothing pack and what have you and charged us and then said a couple days later, yeah, we're shutting down thing. And they didn't do that, at least. I don't believe the dedicated servers are coming, even though they've promised it. I don't see a reason not to add them. And honestly, I don't see your player base sticking around. It's already dwindled. On Steam, uh, nobody really plays the game anymore. On PS4 and Xbox One, although we don't have concrete numbers either way, I can tell you, I can just feel it, I can see it in the lobbies, that the games are not getting full as quickly as they used to, if they even get all the way full at all. Period. So, the player base is dwindling, and with no new content, and no new maps, players are going to get bored, people are going to leave. It's interesting because they had a sale a couple weeks ago, on the Xbox One and PS4 versions. They were separate sales, but it's just interesting. I, you know, I don't know if that was if they knew then what was going on or not, but I find it kind of odd that they didn't know. I guess maybe they thought it wouldn't affect them, but we'll get more more to that later. So, Zerner's got a, a Twitter. It's uh, twittercom slash And Again, I'll I'll link to all this stuff, but you know it. Further thoughts, his further thoughts on the Victor Miller, Sean Cunningham case. People are wondering why they can't just work things out, reach a deal. Putting aside the issue of whether Victor is legally able to terminate the agreement, the remaining issues are complicated. If Victor were to win the case, he'd own the rights to the original Friday the 13th script, but not the sequel. Now imagine it's going to be a new uh, reboot, the 2009 one, which takes elements from Friday the 13th Part 1, 2, and 3. And the reasoning being, Part 1... Jason was in there, the boy Jason. That's the whole setup. Part two, you know, Jason the killer as we you know know him now is introduced, but he doesn't have his iconic hockey mask until part three. So that's why he's talking about parts one, two, and three. For those reading who aren't the you know big Friday thirteen fans, he says he goes on to mention that the adult killer, like I just said, didn't appear until part two. The hockey mask didn't appear until part three, ironically. Coming from Shelley, Larry Zerner. So the analysis of what Victor should get from the reboots is very complicated. Is he entitled to split everything 50-50? Should it be 33? Should it be 25%? There's no no right answer. And very few precedents to give guidance on the subject. So what about, you know, a television series set in Crystal Lake? Books about Jason? What happens if the video game decides that? New DLC content? It's, it's very sketchy right now. So it's very complicated. Ah! And, you know, you can blame the lawyers, most definitely. But it's more complicated than just blaming Victor Miller. And either way, you should be sending them death threats. And Gun Media and Ilphonic, they mishandle some things. And they've got bugs and other issues. And, you know, certainly they're not saints. But they're also not the reason why the game is dying out the way it's dying right now. Again, I reiterate about the dedicated servers. I always believe that when I see it. And I doubt it's coming. I don't think they really even have a reason to bring him now. We'll see. They might prove me wrong. I highly doubt it on that one. But everybody put your pitchforks down. Because that's the reason. Who really killed Jason? It's complicated. <laughs> that's that's the answer to that. It's very complicated. Hopefully this all gets settled and we get a new game somewhere down the road. Or maybe Gun Media Ophonic or maybe somebody else can take on a uh, Halloween franchise or Freddy, you know, Freddy Krueger franchise on the Elm Street. Uh, the eighth dimension, all the multiplayer like this. You know, obviously, it works. It's a Dead by Daylight with the Disc franchise. With that said, now you know, no one's got to battle. Yeah, I did. It's been a nice level taken. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time.